In this activity, I need to be able to see the whole page. To make sure that I can, I'm going to go to View, Zoom, Full Page. There, I can see the whole page. Now, I need to set the page orientation to portrait. I need to make sure that the paper size of that page is A4. I need to set the page margins to normal. To do all those things to the page, I'm going to go to Layout, Page Setup. Now, to set the orientation of the page, I go here. To set the size of the page, I go there. To set the margins to normal, that's here. Let me make this page larger. Now, I must check that there are no headings at the bottom of the page. Now, that heading should be on the next page. I'm going to use the shortcut Control Enter to enter a page break. Now, I need to insert page numbers at the bottom right hand of the pages. To insert a page number, I go to Insert, Page Number, bottom of page, on the right. And I'm going to close the head and put a now. Let's look at page one. Page one, bottom right. Page two, bottom right. Page three, bottom right. Now, I need to use print to see what the document will look like in a printed version. I could go here to File, Print. Or I could use a shortcut and press Control P to go to the print. Yeah. This is what page one will look like. Page one. Page two. This is what page two will look like. Page three. This is what page three will look like. Now I need to save this work. I could click on that. Or I could use the shortcut Control S. I'm going to use the shortcut Control S. And watch what happens down here. We're going to save, we'll see it saving. Control S. It's saving. That's correct. This document has been saved.